All right, I wanted to put together a little tutorial on how to add a sample in the EXS24 sampler. Sample 47 rise. That goes at measure 47, so we're gonna go to the right scene. Go over and add a new instrument for synth two. That's gonna be our keyboard one. It's on the one that's on the bottom. So go click create. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the layers. So I went over an instrument 38, which is our sampler. I'm going to go to the layer editor and slide that up to C4. And then I'll go and take the base patch that Synthu has and slide that down to C4. That way those patches aren't over top of each other. You could also use those learn buttons if your MIDI controller is hooked up. Just click the learn button and click your highest note or your lowest note. Go over there and um, re, uh, relabel it sampler. Then we're going to open up an EXS24 sampler. Um, first thing I do is I uh, edit the velocity settings. This just uh, no matter what um, um, velocity the the sample is triggered at, it's going to speak at the same volume now. Now your volume's all maxed out. Go up to the edit button. And that's where it uh, brings up a keyboard down here and you can go back and I'm going to go look and I want the 47 rise sample. I go into the folder that has that sample and then I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the pitch that I want and it's on C4. Now in the, in the score I actually notated it as E but it needs to be um, notated as C so I'm just changing that in Sibelius right now. So if I click that, uh, there's no audio right now, if I click that, you'll see on the bottom right hand the sampler and output one, that sample's actually playing. Uh, that button right up there, the pitch button, you wanna make sure that's up so the pitch isn't altered. It's another important parameter, the volume. Uh, you can take that and drag that up and down and that will change the individual volume of each sample. So as you're going through and you're balancing, I would uh, go to this volume uh, portion and you know just get your individual balances of the samples right you can also double click and um, just type in the the value that you want exit out of that it's going to ask you to save it i always save it as um, a uh, the, the the name of the the scene that i'm on and then just sampler at the end All right, and then close out of that. Come down here and you should be good. Let's trigger in that sample there. That sample's now firing on, on that note. Save the file and you should be good to go.